Hi and welcome back to Cal State Fullerton's Getting Started with Moodle series. In the last video we went ahead and showed you how to set up your instructor profile inside of Moodle. In this video I want to go ahead and show you how to set up the settings for the individual courses that you'll be teaching. You can see here I've gone ahead and come to the main window inside of Moodle. If you're not here right now, if you've gone someplace else in the Moodle system, you can always come back to this main window by clicking on My Home right here underneath Navigation. Now once you're here, you're going to see that each one of your courses is going to be listed in this area. And I just have one course set up right now. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when I do it, it's going to take me into that particular course. You're also going to see that I have a new block over here in my left hand sidebar called settings. And underneath settings you're going to see an option for edit settings. And this will allow you to edit the settings for this course that you're currently in. When I click on that you'll see that my content area changes and I can now begin to edit the settings for this particular course. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and check and enter in the full name of your course. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and I'm just going to go ahead and type getting started with Moodle and that'll be the name of my course. You can put a course description right down here and I'm going to go ahead and type this is a short summary and again you can put as much information you, as you want into this dialog box. You're also going to notice up at the top here you have some controls for formatting the content that's inside of this box. And again, most of these tools here are probably going to be fairly familiar to you from using Microsoft Word. After you've entered a description for the course, you're going to scroll down a little bit further. Now, probably the most important decision you're going to make at this point is the format for your course. And if I click this drop down arrow here, you can see there's four options, but there's really two that we're going to look at. One is weekly format, and the other is topics format. Both of them will allow you to do exactly the same thing. It just adjusts the way the information is presented to your students. I'm going to go ahead and just scroll all the way down here. You can see I'm on weekly format right now. Let's scroll all the way down and I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes and that should bring me back to my main Moodle window. And you'll see here we have Weekly Outline and you're going to see each week is listed here. I don't have any content inside of the course so you won't see any resources or activities listed. But you can see that it's in a weekly format. I'm going to come back over here to Edit Settings one more time and it brings me back into this area. I'll scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and select Topics Format. I'll scroll down a little bit more and say Save Changes. And when I come back into my main window, instead of it being in a weekly format, you're going to see you have space to enter topics in. And you'll see by default there are 10 topics here, just as there were 10 weeks before. If I come back in here to Edit Settings, and come back into my main window. Underneath format you have the option of setting the number of weeks or the number of topics that are in your course. And again you have the same features available. It just depends upon how you want to present different groups of information either in a weekly format or in a topical format. I'm going to go ahead and change this. I'm going to leave it alone as a topical format and I'm going to say I have 13 topics in this course. The next thing you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to enter in the course start date right here. And again, this is more important when you're doing weekly format, but you do want to, regardless of whether you do weekly or topical, you are going to want to go ahead and enter in the start date of the course. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little bit further. We're going to talk about news items a little bit later, but for right now, just remember that it's going to show five um, news items by default. You can choose whether or not to allow students to see the gradebook for the class. If you select yes here, they'll be able to see their grades. If I scroll down just a little bit further, you can also enable or disable guest access for your course. And by default, that's set to no. Now, if you want to take your course completely offline so that it's not available, 
You can change the availability option right here. And you can see by default this course is available to students. But I can click that drop down and I can take the course offline by saying this course is not available to students. I don't want to do that right now. Once you've gone ahead and basically selected the format and the number of topics or weeks that you want along with the course start date, you're ready to go ahead and click Save Changes. When you do that, you'll come back into your course and you'll now see, again, I'm in Topical as opposed to um, Weekly and I actually have 13 topics that I can fill out. So those are the basic settings that you need to go ahead and set up in order to begin setting up your course. And again, the key point here is deciding whether you're going to present the material in a topical format, as we just saw, or in a weekly format. And if you're in a weekly format, it's very important to go ahead and set the date that the course is going to start. I'm going to say May 17th, 2011 here. Not that that's any particular special date. And you can see I've gone ahead and selected weekly format. When I click save here and come back in, you're going to see now I have 13 weeks of courses listed. And it begins on May 17th. And again, you have the exact same features in either weekly or topical format. The only thing that's different is how the information is grouped and presented to your students. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add resources to a particular topic or week inside of your course.